Hi there, this is Sean, the Honest Book Reviewer, with another book review. In this video, we're discussing Grimish, written by Michael Winkler. It's one of the books on the Miles Franklin Literary Award long list, and it did make the short list. And to be honest, I don't know why. I don't even know why it's on the long list, because I didn't like this book at all. It just seemed like a lot of rubbish, in my opinion. It just seemed like the author was trying to throw together all different strange storylines and themes, no coherence. It's kind of like a biography, but fiction as well. So I think the story is based on a real person and some of the events that happened in that person's life, but there's just so many things thrown into this story that are very bizarre, don't make sense, and I don't know why the author wrote it in this way, because for me, I didn't enjoy the read at all. The author terms his own work explosive nonfiction. What does that even mean? I don't know what that means, and I'd like the author to explain what that means because it doesn't make sense as a term. What is explosive nonfiction? When I think of the term explosive, I think of something that's a wow moment. So if I'm reading a book and it's explosive, it should be a wow moment. And everybody who reads it should go wow. I didn't go wow. Unless the wow is sarcastic from my viewpoint, I didn't go wow at all. I found this just absurd. I found everything in this book to be absurd. The author is just using that term, I think, to justify his own work and to make it seem more than it is. There are themes going on in there. So we do have some themes about um, violence, we have some themes about philosophy, we have some themes just about the writing process, the creative process, we have themes about sexism, brutality, so we have a few themes going on in the book, but they could be explored in a very different way. They're explored in an absurd way, and I think sometimes those themes come through a bit clear, but in very short sections, but most of the time it's absurdity, and it's almost like you're watching a cartoon. That's what I feel like when I'm reading this book. I found the whole mix of ideas and concepts in this book just too much. I don't know how they gel together, and I don't think they do. If this was a recipe, I don't think it would work. It'd be a flop. And a lot of people who are reading this book, I see a few reviews. Some people are calling this there's going to be a cult classic. It's a great book. One of the best books they've read for the year. I don't agree with that at all. I hope it's not going to be a cult classic. If it is, I think it might be a very small cult classic because I don't think it's going to find a huge wide audience. I don't think this book is going to find a wide audience with people who enjoy a good story, even a story that is slightly different. And I get that this is literary fiction and so we're going to have a kind of a different way of writing than other, other novels, but Keeping that in mind, I don't even like the way this writing style is presented. I don't like anything in this book the way it's written, especially the sections where we have a talking goat. Why do we even have a talking goat? Why bring that into the story? And then we have things about a bull, I think it was, but the goat plays a big role in this story, and I just found that absurd. And if I didn't have to finish a book that I started, I'll just give up the book when that talking goat first turned up because when that talking goat first turned up, I kind of just shook my head, rolled my eyes and thought, what is going on in this book? What's the point of this goat? The only reason I picked this book up to read it is because of Miles Franklin. So I guess I can thank Miles Franklin for making me read this book. To be honest, I don't want to talk about any of the characters in this book because none interests me enough to go into detail about them. If I have to talk about one, I'll mention the talking goat. Yes, there's a talking goat in this book. I don't know why it's there, but maybe it's a standout character in the book. That's the one I remember most about anyway. This could be the worst book I've ever read. I've read a lot of books in my time, and I think I'm disappointed by this book most of all. I don't get how it made the Miles Franklin long list and the short list. That just really perplexes me. 
what are the judges looking for in a book to make the short list or the long list? How do they judge a book worthy of those lists? I just, I don't get it. I don't get how this book made that list in the first place. I rate this a one out of five. I finished it because I don't like stopping books halfway through. I only read this because of Miles Franklin. I would not read another book by the same author. I found this book just absurd, ridiculous, and a waste of time. One out of five. I've gone through all the books on the Miles Franklin Literary Award long list. If you're interested in any of those videos, check out my channel and subscribe. There's also a Miles Franklin playlist on my channel. It should be on your screen now.